हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व ए प्रॉब्लम ऑन बेल्ट्स रोप्स एंड चेन डाइव्स दिस इज द चैप्टर नेम अंडर थ्योरी ऑफ मशीन्स प्रॉब्लम नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टी किलो वाट इज टू बी ट्रांसमिटेड बाई ए पुली नाइन्टी सेंटीमीटर इन डायमीटर रोटेटिंग एट हंड्रेड एट्टी आर पी एम द एंगल ऑफ लैप इज हंड्रेड सिक्सटी डिग्री ओके द कोपिशेंट ऑफ फिक्सन बिटवीन बेल्ट एंड पुली इज जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव इफ द सेप पुल पार सेंटीमीटर उइथ ऑफ बेल्ट इज हंड्रेड फिफ्टी न्यूटन कैलकुलेट द उइथ ऑफ द बेल्ट कैलकुलेट द उइथ ऑफ द बेल्ट गिवेन पावर ट्रांसमिटेड पी इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन किलो वाट हेयर 15 kilowatt is to be transmitted okay diameter of pulley capital d equal to 90 cm equal to 0.90 meter this pulley may be diver pulley or driven pulley okay speed of the pulley speed of this pulley is n equal to capital n equal to 180 rpm angle of lap angle of lap theta equal to 160 degree equal to pi by 180 into 160 equal to 2.793 radian we just convert degree to radian okay given coefficient of friction mu equal to 0.25 here coefficient of friction between belt and pulley is 0.25 okay now set pull on belt 150 newton per centimeter here the set pull per centimeter width of belt is 150 newton okay now peripheral velocity of pulley v equal to we know the formula v equal to pi dn by 60 d diameter of the pulley n rpm of the pulley by 60 we just put the value pi into d equal to 0.90 meter into n equal to 180 rpm by 60 equal to 8.48 Two three meter per second. Here there is no slip between belt and pulley. So peripheral velocity of the pulley equal to velocity of the belt. We consider peripheral velocity of pulley v equal to velocity of the belt okay 
now let t1 and t2 be the tension in the tight and slack side of the dive okay t1 tension on tight side of the belt t2 tension on slack side of the belt okay now we know power transmitted b equal to t1 minus t2 by 1000 into v this is v t1 minus t2 into v by 1000 t1 tension of the belt in tight side t2 tension of the belt in slack side v equal to velocity of belt velocity of the belt is velocity of the pulley okay by 1000 no problem now now we put the value p equal to 15 p equal to 15 kilowatt t1 minus t2 into into velocity equal to 8.4823 to 8.4823 to by 1000 okay therefore t1 minus t2 equal to 1768.39 newton this is number one equation this is number one again we know ratio of tension t1 by t2 equal to e to the power mu theta t1 is the tension of belt in tight side t2 tension of the belt in slack side equal to e to the power mu theta mu equal to coefficient of friction between belt and pulley theta equal to angle of lap in radian value in radian so t1 by t2 equal to e mu equal to mu equal to given 0 0.25 0 0.25 theta equal to we calculate theta theta angle of lap theta equal to 2.793 radian okay 2.793 radian equal to t1 by t2 equal to 2.01 okay therefore t1 equal to 2.01 t2 this is number two equation number one equation uh, t, t1 minus t2 equal to 1768.39 newton number one equation number two equation t1 equal to 2.01 t2 this is number two equation from equation one and equation 2 t1 equal to 3 5 1 9.27 newton and t2 equal to 1750.88 newton okay here t1 is the tension of the belt in tight side it is always greater than t2 t2 tension of the belt on slack side so we calculate width of the belt with this formula t1 by t1 by safe t1 by safe pull per centimeter width of the belt in 150 newton so in this case we always take greater value t1 t2 greater value always t1 t1 by 150 t1 equal to 3519.27 by 150 equal to width of the belt 23.46 centimeter 
this is the answer width of the belt okay it is clear my student thank you